Hi there. What would you do if you see some animals suffering? Would you try to help? I think you would. So did the people from my video. Here are 15 more cases of human good-heartedness. I'm sure you won't stay indifferent. Animal Aid Unlimited India got the call about puppies stuck in tar. The poor little creatures came close to losing their lives because there was no way to do without people's help. When the rescuers came to the place, they found one puppy in terrible condition. They found another little thing in the same trouble. When the people brought them to the shelter, they started to soften the tar with oil. It took a lot of time before the rescuers could take off huge pieces of garbage from their little bodies. They washed the pups and at last the tar was coming off with oil. The people didn't manage to clean all the tar, but the babies needed some rest and food. Later at night, the people found the little sisters of the two boys covered with the same awful tar. The rescuers had been cleaning the pups with oil for three days. At last, all the operations were finished. Luckily, the mom of the pups was also found. The family was happily reunited. This time, Simon and the team from Wildlife Aid are called out to rescue a young injured sparrowhawk. The bird was found in the people's garden and was unable to fly. It was a great challenge for Simon to catch the naughty creature. When he managed to do that, he checked the wings and supposed they were sprained. In the center, the x-ray showed that there was a fracture in one wing. So, the bird needed surgery to save its life. Three weeks after the operation passed and it was time to let the bird of prey go, and it happily flew away from its rescuers. Dogs often become stray because their owners just put them out into the street. This abandoned shepherd was found in the park. The creature obviously had had the owner before because it contacted the rescuers from Hope for Paws very eagerly. On coming to the shelter, the specialists found out that the boy had been suffering from an ear infection for a long time. So he needed the suitable course of antibiotics to treat this problem. The rescuers called him Grizzly and helped him to recover from physical and mental trauma. He stayed in the shelter until someone took him home. This man saw a neighbor's cat taking the little birdie in his mouth. Happily, the fluffy hunter didn't want to eat, so the man made up his mind to help the little creature. It was just a chickadee hatchling, almost without good feathers and with eyes closed. The man called him Pete and started nursing the chick. He had to feed it every hour to help the poor thing to get strong enough to survive after such a terrible misfortune. But it didn't open its beak and was very cold. The rescuer warmed the poor thing with his breath and after that made a simple incubator for it. The bird refused to eat again. The man didn't know what to do, and one crazy idea came to his mind. He came to the nest where the chick had been supposed to fall out from and recorded the sounds of the chick's mom. He played the sound near the chickadee hatchling and it started to eat. The little chick felt better and better, demanding more and more food. Time passed and Pete turned into a cute grown-up chickadee. Now it looks so nice and happy to be saved from cat's teeth. The people from Hope for Paws got a call about two stray kittens which were found near the river. But on coming to the place, they saw one more creature that needed help. A poor rat was sitting motionless in dry leaves. The rescuers caught the animal into the carrier and started searching the kittens. One little guy turned out to hide in a very narrow tube, and it was a great challenge to take him out of there. The rescuers had to build a rather complicated construction with the bait to catch it. The kitten went out smelling something tasty and was caught. Another one was spotted under the bridge plate. The rescuers also managed to get it out with the help of the net. In the shelter, the doctors found out that the rat was poisoned. As for the kittens, they were happily okay. They just need some time to get used to the human's hands. The beautiful things are likely to find a family very quickly. Kenya Wildlife Service got the information that a helicopter spotted a tiny elephant calf standing near its diseased mother on the very top of the hill. When the rescuers reached the place, the mother of the poor baby wasn't already alive. The helicopter couldn't fly closer because of dense bush, and the only way to take the calf down was going on foot. The men managed to bring the shocked and exhausted calf down to the place where the helicopter was waiting. On coming to the Wildlife Service Center, the baby was really scared, and the people have to be very careful to calm it down. They left the baby alone in the safe place to examine and get used to his future home. Several days later, the poor baby was led out to the place where other orphans were kept. They were rather big nursery herd where the lid found new friends. 
The older female elephant calf started taking good care of the little one to prevent him from troubles and to teach it some necessary things. The rescuers called the boy Rojo, which means spirit in Swahili. The people were happy to offer this boy his future family. This couple is making their unusual sea trip around the world. On their way, they visited Bakoya, one of the Grenadine Islands. There they found the motionless turtle under a piece of corrugated iron sheet. Illegal fishing is a great problem in many regions in the world, and the people thought they couldn't help the poor thing. But soon they discovered that it was in fact alive, bound, and had been hidden on purpose. The people took off the iron sheet and saw that the turtle was about to lose its life. Nobody knew how much time it had spent out of water. The people wrapped the creature in the cloth and poured the water on it to prevent it from drying. It was rather big and heavy to carry, and the rescuers had a lot of problems with doing that. They brought it close to the water, cut off all the nets, and let it go. In spite of being too weak, the turtle swam into the sea. The rescuers were very happy to do such a great job. A girl found a squirrel lying on the ground just in the street. Her dad helped her to put the creature into a carrier and brought the animal to the park far from the dangerous traffic. They opened the carrier and let the creature get out. But it didn't want to leave its warm shelter. Come on! Come on, buddy! You gotta get out! At last, the squirrel went out and the people felt happy to help the little thing. Snakes often try to find shelter in the people's houses. Sometimes they are very venomous snakes. And it's very simple to imagine what can happen if that creature won't be taken away from the house. This rescue team came to the village where they had got a call from. The cobra snake hid under the household building where the cattle lived. The stirred cobra was trying to hide, but the experienced rescuers managed to grab it. The most difficult task was to make the creature go into the bag. When the rescuers did this, they took the uninvited guest to the wild and let it go there. Two men, Sam Shepard and Dan Sly from St. Louis, did their best to help a bald eagle that was in trouble. One of their friends called them and told them that he had seen an injured bird on the side of the road. They didn't know what to do, but they rushed to help. Catching the bird, they just put its wings together and picked the eagle up. The men brought the bird to the special care sanctuary. The doctors couldn't find out what had happened to the bird, but they did everything to help the beauty to get back to the wild. This cow got stuck in the mud of the dump. The men were trying to grab the creature out as it didn't have any chance to do so by itself. They took the poor cow out of this terrible place. The animal was too thin and weak because it had spent a lot of time there. Without this help, it wouldn't have been able to survive. As we have already said, in India, venomous snakes coming into people's houses is very usual. And not only houses, but even schools. Just imagine the super venomous serpent in the place where children study. A cobra snake was hiding in the hole in the wall in one of the classrooms. Of course, only professional snake catchers can deal with this problem. But even for them, it was a big problem to take the reptile from her hiding place. The snake was very upset and aggressive and attacked the people. But the catcher managed to take out the snake carefully from the building. The cobra was injured, so the catchers treated its wounds before putting it into the bag and taking it to the wild. All the students were watching the process feeling relief that the cobra was caught. Maryland Natural Resources police officers responded to a call 15 miles away out into the Atlantic Ocean. They rushed to help a whale that had been trapped and tangled up in fishing gear. The poor marine creature was struggling to get free. The rescuers carefully removed a line and quickly took off two buoys from the whale's tail. The happy giant swam away very quickly. This Halloween became a rather difficult time for this curious deer. The people had to help the yearling animal who had its snout stuck in a Halloween bucket for days. It took a lot of time to grab the creature, but the men managed to do that, setting the silly little thing free. They named it Little Pumpkin. This is Mikey. She is a female baby gray-headed flying fox who was found clinging to her breathless mother on power lines. A man was passing by and saw the baby. He called the rescuer from the Mega Batty project for help. She asked Vicky, the vet nurse who was close to the rescue place to check on the little cutie. Luckily, Mikey had no burns and was doing well, and it has a great chance to live a happy life. So this is the end of my list. Hope you found it impressive. The people who rescue animals also need your help. Watch their channels, 
present them with your likes and subscriptions, and never pass by animals that are suffering. See you soon.